Hmm. Guess we're doing a lectimus today. Let's get right on into it. All right, the fragrance we'll be looking at today is called Trajan from Electimus, perfumed by Gino Vesse, Marcos Gino Vesse to be precise. And this fragrance, of course, looks really nice. Usually retails for about 250, but looking at some reputable other retailers, you can sometimes find this fragrance for a bit of a more wallet-friendly price. But that's beyond what we're talking about right now. Let's get right into how this thing smells. As we did before, let's go ahead and get this on skin. Again, an amazing atomizer. Think Dior level atomizer. Very pressurized, wide, dispersive. Probably one of the better atomizers I have in my collection. As far as what I get, this definitely smells like a at least in the opening, like a tangy cotton candy. There's a little bit of citrus. There's some amber. Uh, the amber is airy and ethereal. As it dries down, you start to get a bit more aromatic tinges coming in, probably from the moss. And then in a deep dry down, you're getting a salted, suede woodiness going on. And before you ask, this definitely has very close similarities to Baccarat Rouge 540. To me, it smells like a more versatile uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. In other words, I feel like men can wear this a lot more comfortably. It's not as much of a challenge to wear this versus wearing the original Baccarat Rouge 540, which to me smells a decent amount more feminine than this does. This still can be worn uh, by women uh, but I do see men gravitating to this a bit more than the original Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, as far as where this fragrance takes me or what situations would I wear this fragrance in, the easiest way to imagine this is picture yourself walking up and down the boardwalk. It's nighttime, it's warm because it's early fall, you're with friends, and you're just looking for something light but sweet to eat. That's what this fragrance does for me as far as where it takes me, what I imagine myself doing. Uh, the situations that I would use this fragrance in, nearly any situation. This is one of the true versatile four season fragrances. This can be used to run errands. This can be used on dates. This can be used for anything I could think of at least. The main thing to be aware of if you did decide to use this in the office is definitely know your audience. I do think it's off as safe, but in other words, don't use 10 sprays of this fragrance. So if you're going into the office and your work neighbor is a Karen or Ken who has a nose that's so sensitive, it gets overwhelmed by ivory soap, if you catch my drift. As far as this fragrance performance goes, I did notice two things during my wear testing. One is that you can definitely go anosmic, AKA nose blind to it very quickly. That just has to do with the type of synthetic and natural materials that are in this fragrance. That happens even with Baccarat Rouge 540 as well too. Uh, and then secondly, which kind of leads into it from the first question, everyone else can still smell it even if you can. not So before you go to reapply, do not just reapply, ask someone else. See if your significant other, your friends, your coworkers, see if someone else can smell it. Because what I noticed in my wear testing, especially the very first one, was I thought it was gone in an hour. It ended up staying for about nine hours. And the only reason I was able to uh, recognize that was based off of comments, compliments, all the compliments for those who care came from women, um, and the random wafts I would get. The fragrance does create a scent bubble of about two to three feet, and it just comes and goes. Sometimes you think it's gone, 30 minutes later, it's right there. Um, because of the type of com compliments and the people I got the compliments from, I would say this definitely has a sexy factor to it. So be aware of that. This scent DNA is still growing on me. No. 
never seen anyone that pissed off before. Why? I guess this is going to be a going theme of just powering through it at the end. Sorry about the noise in the background. Anyways, to get onto the score, just like I said before, this scent DNA is definitely growing on me. And because of the compliment factor, along with the versatility that is added to a very well-known scent profile, I'm giving this an 8.4. That makes it rotation worthy level. Definitely get your nose on this. I don't recommend blind buying, but if you like sweet ethereal fragrances that aren't too potent, but do stick around, this one is probably the one for you. Anyways, I'll be coming back with some more reviews and probably some top three, top five, top 10 videos here in the near future. If you have any questions, definitely put some comments below, like, and subscribe. Peace.